Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Sunny Day Shawl, which is uh, an easy shawl to crochet. It uh, has been made with a 100% acrylic yarn and I've used the Karen Marble Cakes yarn by Yarnspirations and this is a worsted weight yarn. I'll show you a little bit of the shawl here in the corner of the video. This is it here. Uh, it's uh, not quite a lacy weight. It does have these little eyelets in it. It's similar on the front and on the back and it's a fairly cozy shawl. So uh, if you're looking for something uh, to use as a prayer shawl pattern or a comfort shawl pattern, this might be a good one. It features a simple, easy edging along each of the short ends. As mentioned, I'm going to be using these Karen Marble Cakes, which is a worsted weight yarn. You're going to need three of these cakes. Each cake has about 404 yards. So if you're going to substitute your yarn, you're going to want about 1200 yards of a worsted weight yarn of your choice. Today, I'm going to be using the color Blueberry Cheesecake. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the written pattern which is found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. The direct link is there in the description of this video. Our shawl pattern today is worked in rows. Now I should have mentioned it at the beginning, my finished shawl measures approximately 21 by 72 inches. However, if you would like to adjust the length of your shawl, for your foundation chain, you will need any even number of stitches. Today for our shawl, we're going to begin by making a foundation chain of 252 chain stitches. And I will warn you if uh, you prefer to make a foundation row for your first row, our first row will be a row of single crochet. So you could either work a chain, foundation chain of 252 or a foundation single crochet row of 251 stitches. If you're working the foundation chain, you can go ahead and chain 252 stitches. Once you have worked your foundation chain, you're going to begin row one by working one single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, into that second chain from your hook, work one single crochet stitch, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way up across. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're now going to work one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. So half double crochet in that first stitch as your chain one does not count as a stitch and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you can chain four and turn your work. At the end of row three, you've chained four and you've turned your work. For row four, you're going to skip that first stitch because uh, your chain four is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. So you're going to skip that first stitch and you're going to skip the next stitch and then work one double crochet into the next.
chain one, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. At the end of this row four, you can chain one and turn your work. For row five, you've chained one, you've turned your work. You're now going to work a single crochet into that first stitch, so into the top of the double crochet stitch, a single crochet into the next chain one space, and then single crochet into the next double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet into the next chain one space, and single crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across, working a single crochet into that starting chain four space, and then your final single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. I'm here at the end of my row five. I'm going to work one single crochet into the chain four space and then a single crochet into that third chain of the starting chain four, just like so. At the end of row five, you can then chain one and turn your work. And now for the rest of the body of the shawl, you're simply going to repeat rows two through to five. So you're going to start with the half double crochet row through to five, which is the row we just worked. You're going to repeat that 14 more times. So essentially you're going to want 15 of these double crochet chain one space rows all together. Once uh, you've repeated through to row five, 15 more times, you're then going to repeat rows two and three, which is a half double crochet and a single crochet row one more time, and then you can fasten off and weave in your ends. So go ahead and work those 14 more repeats, then repeat rows uh, two and three one more time, and then meet me back here, and we'll work a simple edging on the two shorter ends of our shawl. Okay, so once you have worked your shawl uh, to the end of your repeats, you should have 15 rows of these half double crochet chain one spaces. So you'll have a piece that's similar to this. Then what you're going to want to do is turning to one of these short ends here, you have, where you have the raw edge and you'll have woven in your end most likely. You're going to, with a slip stitch, join your yarn into one of the corners. Once you have joined your yarn with a slip stitch into a corner stitch, you're going to then chain one and evenly work 79 single crochet stitches all the way across. So you have to f work them fairly evenly across. If it helps, you can place a stitch marker uh, about halfway across or at different points, and then work half of the stitches on one side and then half the stitches on the other. It's up to you, but go ahead and work 79 single crochet stitches all the way across the short end of your shawl. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. Once you've worked your 79 single crochets all the way across the short end of your shawl, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, skip the next 
two stitches and work five double crochet into the next stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two stitches and work five double crochets into the next stitch. Skip the next two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Continue all the way across and then work your final single crochet into your final stitch. At the end of the row two of your edging, you're going to single crochet into that final stitch. You can then fasten off your work Then take a yarn needle, weave in any ends that you might still have exposed, and then your sunny day shawl is complete. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the sunny day shawl. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I invite you to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.